In programming, text is represented by strings. In Python, there are many ways to create a string. After all, there are many different types of text. Some have apostrophes, some have quotation marks, and some have new lines. Our goal is to explore different ways we can create strings in Python. After that, we will discuss some inbuilt methods of it. First, we will start with creating a string using single quotes. One thing to note here. You do not need to put semicolon at the end like other languages. We can check our strings by printing it. We can create the string in same way using double quotes. You do not need to specify that the variable is a string. Python interpreter is smart enough to know that it is a string as it is inside quotes. Now we will try to create a string by using single quotes and apostrophe in between. See, we get an error. When the Python interpreter encounters the apostrophe, it takes it as the end of the string. We can fix this in two ways. First, by introducing an escape character where we want to use apostrophe in order to specify that the apostrophe is not the end of the string but a single character. Second way to fix this is to use double quotes. See, no error and no escape character. If you try to make a string using double quotes but your string has quotation mark in between then you will get another error. This is because Python interprets the second quotes as the end of the string. But we can avoid this using single quotes. We will check how our string looks by printing it. But how we can create more complicated strings, strings which contains both apostrophe and quotation marks in between. Well, we can do this using triple quotes. We, we can either use three single quotes or three double quotes. Over here, we will use three double quotes. Now we are able to create Python strings in many ways. It's time to discuss about some inbuilt methods available for strings in Python. We will create an example string as hello world. This string object has a method called upper which returns the entire letter in uppercase. Since we are not storing it to the string variable, our variable remains unchanged. In the same way, we have lower method which returns the entire string in lower case. And the last one is swap case which will alter the case of each letter. If it is smaller, then it will convert it to capital letter. If it is capital letter, it will convert it to small letter. That's all for this video. If you don't want to miss any future videos, then subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you really feel that this video was helpful, then do hit the like button.